It's time for us to sequence the hook from the beginning of this song. It's one of the most iconic things about this song, and we can treat this in a lot of different ways, but I think simple is best for now. So I'm gonna encourage you to start a new track. I think that uh, using a synth on this track is the most important thing that we can do here. Mouse is not cooperating there. Is that gonna help me? Nope. There we go, okay. So forgive me there for a minute, but we're gonna use a synthesizer. And I've listened to a lot of these. I've listened to the uh, to the leads, to the pads, the rhythmic ones are all weird because they make rhythmic sounds, okay? So they're just wrong. But uh, in the synths, I, there's several that could be used. I just decided that personally I liked the one that's called Tension Synth. Uh, I think you should just make the executive decision to choose one that you like the texture of here. Um, today we're gonna start on E that's above C4. That's our first note here and in fact uh, my classes are going to have this file shared with them, which is the hook file. And we're going to have E's, D's, and F sharps. Don't forget we're in the key of concert D here, so we've got uh, concert D has F sharps and C sharps in the key signature. So we're going to just work on these first two measures here, because I'm going to show you a, a few tricks for entering information now that my classes are a little bit more advanced, and learning more and more about entering notation into Soundtrap. So the rhythm is one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and, and four. There's a little tie here, okay? So we're not gonna count or play on the on beat three. That's gonna be tied over from the end of two. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and, and four. Okay, so we're gonna play that in. And I'm gonna leave this at 109 beats per minute, but of course, if you want to, you certainly have my permission to slow this tempo down to make it a little bit more performable. Again, we're using E4, D4, and then up to F sharp four. Here we go, ready? Starting on E4. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and, and four. All right, just put those two measures in there. As always, I'm gonna trim my selection here, and I'm gonna jump into the edit mode. Make sure that this is only two measures long. And of course, I'm gonna quantize this. We're using eighth notes, so make sure you quantize to eighth notes. Okay, looks like I actually was pretty accurate there. I'm gonna to listen to this just to check on note lengths. personally that this one was a little bit longer and this one was a little bit longer maybe this one could be even longer and maybe this one could be shorter great I love that okay now here's a wonderful thing about MIDI uh, thing number one is like let's say I played a wrong note it's so easy to just drag these notes all over. So if you found that you performed this in and you made a mistake, if you can go into the piano roll, you can just grab the note and place it in the right place. So we know that we're working on E, and you can see that lines up right here with E. Okay, D, you can see the white space here lines up with the white key D. E, and of course F sharp is in a slightly grayed out region, and you can see that lines up with the F sharp key right here. Okay, so I'll leave this up if you want to look at it. But here's another interesting thing about MIDI. MIDI, if we if we copy this entire region, okay, so if I if I select this this region right here and I do my I'm on a Mac, so Command C, but if you were on a PC or a Chromebook, Control C and move your cursor over here, you can paste this melody all over again. And one of the things that you might notice about this is that measures three and four are actually the same exact pitches, right? This program won't, won't observe the tie, that's why I skipped over that. But anyway, um, this is uh, exactly the same thing. And so we can create that by just copying and pasting. Isn't that great? Just like a word processor. And now that we have these four measures together, we can also go up to our uh, edit menu and click merge regions and we have the first four bars of that hook. Admit it, you're totally loving this. Okay, now another great thing about MIDI 
is we can still copy that same region. I'm just going to move my cursor here to measure 5. I'm going to paste it. Now these are the wrong notes. Not, not at all the correct notes, but forgive me. So as long as you make sure that this is the right region that's highlighted, this region starts <clears throat> on an A above the staff. So we can do is highlight all of these jobbies, right? And if we highlight all of them, we can drag up until we see A. It's actually the same melody, the same order of intervals, but it's just up instead of starting on an E and going down to D, it starts on an A and goes down to G. So just by the proximate powers uh, or the, 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 the approximate uh, powers of this being approximately a, um, a word processor, we can copy and paste and then just grab that entire region and move it around. And then uh, I promise you that if you just move it up to this first note starting on A, everything works correctly. We can also now make that one of our regions, merge that together. And you'll hear this be super correct. You totally love this and you know what we're gonna do next, right? We're gonna paste that same region back here and on the Christmas, uh, on the last Christmas pad, the next note that we're going to start on is F sharp. Now this is not exactly the same pattern. It's close, but it's just not. I mean, the rhythm is is the same, but it's not a, pro, a, a completely the same pattern. So we can copy and paste this. So let's edit this up. We'll open this in our. Let's see. We're going to open this in our piano roll. We can highlight all of these and let's bring the first pitch up to F sharp. That's up a whole step. Okay. It says G flat. Uh, my band students know that G flat and F sharp are enharmonic equivalents. So we've got, we should have F sharp and E, but the last two notes don't ascend. The last, well, the last three notes don't ascend in a scale like fashion. They return to the, uh, the first note. This is what we call a neighboring tone. So instead of going up the scale, we're going to take this guy, pardon me, just this guy, and bring him back down to our, let's see, that should be down to the E. Let's see what this sounds like. thing that we haven't done so far is to highlight this and to merge these regions and now we have this entire song I will uh, just encourage you one more time to use the cycle feature to listen to this over and over again and to find the right sound for this you might not um, might not like the tension synth sound and that's cool honestly you may find that you like this in a totally different fashion you may like all of the sounds to be different go as modern or as as different or as unique as you want and please save your work to make sure that you don't lose it all right all right good luck on this let me know if you need any help